density and groundedness with the increased electromagnetic shifts. Traditionally, Kundalini uncoils itself and electrifies your body at around 40 years of age. By this time, you are considered mature enough to house this kind of power. For most people, the power is so profound that they go downhill from there and begin to age, rather than rejuvenate and put the great creative electrical force to use. As cosmic energy comes onto the earth plane, there are millions of you who are now increasing the opportunities to reinterpret what Kundalini can do. It is the force of your lives, and you pulse with it. This energy may be utilized to heal. For when it builds up in your hands, you have the hands of a healer. Many of you would be very surprised if you peeked a few years into your own futures and saw the so-called unexpected, including what you will be able to do with the energy coming out of your hands. There are individuals now who are able to hold their hands together and make a piece of paper catch on fire. This energy in the hands is going to amplify in each of your lives. You may use it to purify food, heal, clean the oceans, and depollute the rivers and land. You will be able to transmute the toxic pollution that is everywhere around your planet. Your planet is going to survive its transmutation process as you recognize the power of imagination, which is tied very closely to memory. Imagination acts as a movie screen in your mind that holds images and creates blueprints of consciousness. Your body is filled with memories of different worlds, as well as different time frames from the now you perceive. As Earth evolves, you'll become capable of pulling up these concepts and blueprints and finding the teachings in their purpose, as well as their significance to your now, based on what you know. Bringing memories of other times and places into your current reality unifies the significance of your life. It creates a healing by helping you understand the purpose of self-inflicted wounds. One of the most important keys we can give you is this. Love yourself, honor the vehicle that you occupy, and act as if you are priceless. Act as if you lucked out and received the best thing possible, your body. Honor Earth as well with love and respect, for it is here on Earth that you stage your fanciful dramas. Love yourself and Earth on your ride through the universe and your journey will be lighter. Sex in 3D can provide the energy through which you can emerge to higher consciousness. It can lead to an essential part of your multidimensional development. Sometimes it is difficult to hear about sex because you hold on to judgment of traumatic events that you are ashamed of or that you feel bad about surrounding your sexuality. Everyone has something stored away concerning the sexual parts of themselves. To a large degree, there has been a plan to influence you to feel shame about sexuality and your body. This has kept you from discovering your power, purpose, bliss, and freedom. As your body takes on and integrates the new energy, memory will be awakened in you. Utilizing nature is one of the best ways to get in touch with remembering. Sitting out in nature, watching nature, being in idleness, being in the now, and letting the now expand into the ongoing, spontaneous, synchronistic moment, the ever-expanding now. Activating memory involves disengaging yourself from all the shoulds you have piled up for yourself. Are you busy running nowhere? Do you truly lead the most meaningful life that you can? Do you await the approval of others forever a shadow of the power of radiating your truth? Please do not hide from yourselves or from others. Live. Memory is like a pool or a mirror inside your body and it needs to be replenished and refreshed with the reflecting ability of water. Water is what enhances memory in the physical body. Kundalini fires the codes, activating the light-encoded filaments and bringing them into light. These tiny fibers are filled with information, and Kundalini moving through your body gives you the opportunity to own your own memories. Emotions are the sum total of your wealth, 
as a human being. Emotions trigger the inner pharmacopoeia, your body's personal drugstore. In the drugstore of your body, you are the pharmacist. You write the prescription according to your emotional response or reaction to events. Your emotions create a corresponding chemical release inside your physical form. The endocrine system, which is responsible for the chemical responses to your emotional choices, will evolve. New chemicals will be produced inside your body that will help you change. Choosing a different way of receiving or translating reality will trigger inner doorways to open and produce substances that will take you into the higher realms. The plan of intention is for human beings, based on the increase of light, to evolve into multi-talented beings. Some people are operating on 6 to 8 percent of their brain capacity. Someone who is using more of their brain, in Einstein, for example, is using at best 15 to 20 percent. Ask yourself these questions. What is the other 80 percent of my brain doing? Why is it dormant? What is not hooked up? The endocrine system will evolve as DNA evolves, producing chemical substances that are combinations of intelligent geometric shapes. These shapes will exist all over the body and will not be localized simply in the brain. Everything will happen simultaneously. As the strands of DNA begin to discover their identities and come alive, they will change the endocrine system. Your decision to be in the moment to love yourself and to work with love on the planet, with yourself and all people, will completely change what happens inside you. This is a key to rejuvenation, most definitely. Be willing to experience yourself, your life, and your body as your own creations. Your thymus gland is pivotal in sending the signal to your body to hold the pattern of rejuvenation. Your thymus gland shrinks the older you get. It shrivels up. It is like the gatekeeper at the base of your neck that regulates what comes from above and what comes from below. Your upper glands, the pituitary and pineal, as cranial temples, are inactivated. They are basically dormant. Your thymus gland does not continuously remind your body of its idealized blueprint because it is not getting the messages to do so from the temples in your head. This is because your temples have been disconnected from the full strands of DNA. Your thymus gland will return to its own vitality when it receives the message that your body has done its preparation and that your consciousness is ready. If you think in terms of life expansion, some of you have barely begun your work. Others have training that is going to implode you into the next shift. Your work is a gift to the planet a gift to civilization. Your hypothalamus can be thought of as the gatekeeper between your physical body and your outer chakras. Its time has not yet come. In your present stage of evolution, you cannot comprehend its function. Yes, it does regulate the body's temperature and flow of water, and water is the essence of your life. We always encourage you to be around water, to be in water, and to use water because water enhances the function of your hypothalamus gland. It keeps it lukewarm for when it needs to get heated up. The time will come to further explore the hypothalamus. With all the fuss about a health care system in your United States, we remind you that health is free. The true cost of health care is a few moments of your time to develop the right attitude about your body. You create your health or your disease, and you don't need anyone to tell you whether you are healthy. First of all, when you are in touch with your body, when you take a shower or wash, you can feel and know your level of well-being. You know if you are in a state of health or not. You may choose to worry and distrust your body. If you worry about your health, then you will create something. Your body follows the images you instigate. The more compassion you have for others, the quicker mass consciousness will